I'm Mike Ferguson, you're absolutely not, and you're watching Soto Meets. What's up, tubers? My name's Omar Soto, and I'm here with Mike Ferguson, world-class tattoo artist, and now, actor, full-time. Yeah. Mike. International actor. International. Oh. We're going to get into that in a second. But first, Mike, yeah. you began your career as a tattoo artist. Yes. And then from there, you kind of transitioned part-time into acting. Yeah. So, so why don't you tell me about that, like how you started tattooing and all of a sudden acting. Okay. So 30 years ago, I wanted to get into tattooing. It was illegal in Boston, Massachusetts. Mm -hmm. If something's illegal, it's kind of cool, or at least I thought back then. It was very punk rock to get tattoos. Right, right. So I lived in a state where it was illegal, so I had to go to Georgia to learn how to tattoo. It was either the military or tattooing, and I chose the latter. Tattoos. Yeah. And it brought me all around the country. I had a great living from it and stuff like that. About four years ago, I got into acting. Right. How, how did that happen? Did someone approach you, or did you approach somebody? I, I mean, it was it was a general thing. I was in the bodybuilding industry with my wife, and okay. she was rat, she was done with that. Mm -hmm. And I was like, I always wanted to do acting. Right. And uh, I didn't know how. Right. And uh, one day I saw a thing for central casting for background actors. Mm -hmm. So I went down there and signed up. Nice, nice. Yeah. And how was that process? Pretty easy, or was actually no? Back at back then, central casting, you would have to get there four hours early. Wow. You'd have to stand in line in the hot sun. Mm -hmm. And uh, you'd have to have two forms of ID. Mm -hmm. We got there four hours early, and we didn't even make the cutoff of 115 people. Wow. And we hoped, hoped, I got a maybe mm -hmm. pass. So right. literally, if at least 115 people, if one of them didn't have two forms of ID, mm -hmm. me and my wife would get it. Well, it happened. We got in. Nice. And uh, the first background role I did was uh, switch to birth. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, I worked five days on that. Okay. And uh, I got five SAG vouchers for that. Nice. My first job, which people try for 10 years to get that SAG voucher, so I got them first Boom, right up there. Uh, yeah. And that's a cut. So Mike, yeah. explain to me what it's like being on set. You know, like, what is, what, what is the movie star life like? It, it's not what you think it is. Uh, it's, it's a lot of hurry up and wait. Okay. It's literally when you get to set, you've got, you got to learn how to be really patient. Mm -hmm. um, and sometimes the directions aren't as clear as you'd like them to be. So you just have to wait until somebody explains a little bit of what's going on. You're not going to know everything. I mean, it's just part of it. Literally, you're, you're, uh, it's hurry up and wait. Okay. Uh, but the best thing you could do on set is because people get stressed out sometimes. People overanalyze right. and they get very right. we anxiety. Bad days. Yeah. Bad days. Yeah. Positivity. Mm -hmm. You have to be positive. Even when eating a shit sandwich, you have to be positive. Right. Because negativity is infectious like cancer. Mm -hmm. And I've seen a lot of people, like great actors, like literally that won't ever work because they get negative on set. Right. And I don't care. My worst day in the world on set is still the best day of my life because I'm doing something that I love. Mm -hmm. And I have to keep that perspective and perception right. and surround myself with people that keep me in that spot. Right. Hum keep you humble. humble. Keep you positive. Keep me positive. On yeah. track. On track, yeah. Speaking of people keeping uh, on track, you're, you, you're married. Yes. And your wife is also in, she's a professional wrestler. She's a pro wrestler. She's also with, wow. acting. Yeah, she's an actress. Uh, you want to tell us her name? Uh, my wife's name is Twana Barnett Ferguson. Look her up. She's Twana Barnett Ferguson. You can look up her YouTube channel. She's on Wow Television that is coming to Sundays, uh, Saturdays uh, in September. You can see second season. They moved to Saturdays. Uh, so, so tell me, what's it like being in a relationship where you're both in the entertainment industry? Well, I mean, we're busy, so... That's what I'm saying. Do you guys find time to... to no, uh, honestly, it's we find time whenever we can. You right. know what I'm saying? The, right. the most... I, I, We go to premieres and things like that. Those are our date nights. Okay. Uh, okay. We're just at Danzig's new so, premiere. So it's kind of work-related, but not at the same time. It's always work-related. Okay, you know okay. So that's, that's what I want to know. That's what Yeah, yeah. Look, acting, I don't have a life... Uh, everything is related okay. to acting. It, okay. Whether it be premieres or going out or mm -hmm. going to dinners or mm -hmm. having friends. All my friends are actors. We're all in the same boat to help push each other and support each other. Right. Oh, I've got some projects I just did. One I'm really proud of, which is Nowhere to Run. Nowhere and to I run. sent you the trailer for it, and if you finish watching this video at the end of it, the trailer for Nowhere to Run is yes. on there. Yes, a Soto Meets premiere. Yep, you're going to have to see the trailer on there. Enjoy, it's awesome.
It is. Very good. excited about that movie. I've worked with Josh Gilmer and Brittany Wolf. Great film. Mason Howard was the director. Amazing. Mm -hmm. I just did a movie called The Devil's Heist. Poster. Uh, I play Lucifer. Amazing time. I actually went to Mexico to film that. Had a really good time on set. Mm -hmm. Uh, you had mentioned that uh, they treated you very well down there. They treated well. me like I was a like I was a god. What I just want to say is that yeah, honestly, is that you know I, I'm super lucky. Right. So so with your new career, you've actually managed to get some sponsors as well. Yes, I do. And here's the thing: is the more that you're getting seen by people, there's people that want to give you stuff. Right. And I just recently have been sponsored by BC Fit Meals, and I was in the bodybuilding industry for a while. BC Fit Meals is located in Marriott, California. They deliver all the way to L.A. And they feed me. Yeah. I eat them three times a day, sometimes four times a day. They deliver to my house, and it's, it makes my life so much easier. And they're awesome. They're great, nutritious food. Then, <laughs> I'm also sponsored by Manscaped. Manscaped. Manscaped for Ooh. this area, yeah. They're a funny company, but they're actually legit. I shave my arms and things like that. They make products so I can just do it in the shower. Right. They've got everything from colognes, which I smoke and smell. That's the nice. stuff. Anyway, I would say thank you to Manscaped. Also, Nutra Earth. Nutra Earth. Nutra Earth. Look for Earth it. No, Earth Nutri. I'm sorry. Ooh. Earth Nutri. <laughs> Earth, Earth Nutri. Uh, they make uh, protein powders. They make pre-workouts. And honestly, I'm moving all the time, and I need those uh, pre-workouts. I need right. those mental focus. You're going to have to hook me up with so, one of those so I can catch up to you. Hey, man. you will, man. You will. <clears throat> but I just want to thank you to my sponsors, too, for, for uh, helping me get where I am today and keep keep me going. Nice, nice, nice. Hey, look, it takes, here's the thing, life's hard, life is tough. Right. It takes a community. You were caught in a society today that's very much me oriented. Right. There is nothing created right. with just you. Right. It takes a village. Exactly. It, it, it takes well, a team. A, a, a it, team. Takes a it takes friends, it takes everything. Surround yourself with positivity yep. and people that want to do the same thing as you. That is so important in this life. Exactly. And that's, exactly. I really don't have any more to say if you, unless you have more questions for me. Um, so, so actually, okay. you had mentioned that you were just uh, added on to something that's going to be filmed overseas. Give us a quick little okay. preview of that. So, I didn't sign an NDA, so I can talk about this. I am going to shoot a television show, 13 one-hour episodes, called Death Squad. Death Squad. It's funny, because if you guys know me and know me for a while, is there really is a death squad, and it's tattooed on the side of my face. Nice, nice. So, I'm doing, I'm a mercenary dropped into a zombie hot zone, uh, trying to find out why. Right. Uh, it was a show that was made by the, uh, that was already made, mm -hmm. and it's much bigger budget now. It was made in Armenia, and it's for uh, the Armenian thing. There's only 3 million people there. They're remaking it for the European and American syndicated market. Nice. As so well as streaming. So literally, you'll be able to see me on TV. 13 one-hour episodes coming in the new year. So if you're craving some Mike Ferguson. Yep. You right. got it. You got it. Me on TV, guys. So Nice, nice. Well, I want to thank everyone for watching. But stay tuned because we are going to premiere the trailer for... Nowhere to Run. You better uh, get ready for that. I've got the Devil's Heist too. You should run that. I've got the trailer for Devil's Heist too. I'm gonna get. What do you think? You guys want to see the Devil Heist trailer? Yeah, too? hell yeah. Why not? Fuck it. Fuck yeah, it. Let's do it, Mike. Hey, thank you so much for thank having you, me. Thank you, man. I appreciate your time. You guys, keep an eye out for this guy. Hey, He's keep watching. Be this, keep watching this 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 YouTube channel. Subscribe, like, and everything. Nice, Post a comment. Nice, nice. Here's the thing: is this guy is gonna have me and a lot of my friends on this, so you can keep up with what we're doing and different bands and musicians. Yep. They're all friends of mine. Nice. They're gonna be. On your Friends show, mine too. Yeah. So look forward to more meetings with this guy, Soto. Sometimes, you just have to deal with things, alright? Not run away from them. <laughs>